Hi guys, thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to show you how I made this driftwood Edison bulb chandelier. I would like the chandelier to hang over the spare bed in my study. I bought these fabulous Edison bulbs from B&Q as well as some very snazzy chain and this beautiful piece of driftwood from a local aquatic centre. Now for this project I'm going to need a stud finder. So studs are wooden beams that run uh, through the walls and across the ceiling and between each stud you will pack in the insulation to keep the room warm. Uh, the one on the left is the one I originally had but it hasn't been very successful. So this one on the right I've borrowed and it will pick up studs at variable depths half inch, one inch, one and a half inch and I'm going to show you how we're going to use this. So I'm going to demonstrate against the wall rather than the ceiling here. What you do is you hold it flat against the surface, you press this button on the side and it will set it. And then you slowly move it left or right along the wall until you finally pick up a stud. And you can even find the centre. So now I know where I can drill. So I did this across the ceiling uh, for a few different points. Once I had a couple of reference points, I drew a line between them so I knew where the beam ran. So I'm measuring from the wall, 700 mil, because I need two points to hang it, and I'm drawing a little cross. I've picked a pair of pretty hefty hooks to make sure this isn't gonna fall down on someone's head to make sure I'm just gonna choose the right drill bit for the job. If you line up the shanks, the threads should be on the outside and you're good to go. So I drilled a pilot hole and now you can see I'm going to be drilling in and you can see that resistance where it hits the beam and I know I'm good. Now it's a matter of getting this hefty hook into the hole. There's only so far I can actually twist it by hand, so I'm going to employ the use of these mole grips. If you don't have a pair in your arsenal, get yourself some, they are amazing. I'm trying to decide how to hang this up. It's not quite going as I planned, but you know, we'll make it work. I need a third point of contact right to the back, I can tell, otherwise the whole thing's just going to go slag. So I'm measuring between the two distances and from the wall, and now I can work out the centre point. The next step is to add the hooks into the driftwood. So I'm just going to do the same as before, drill in, make sure that the shank is just wide enough, get as far as I can, and then use some more grips to finish it off. I did this in the three points of contact and aimed to get it in the nice knotty areas so it's got lots of grip. Here I'm just trying to eyeball how much chain I'm going to need so I can get the right kind of height from the ceiling and keep it equidistant between the studs and hoping for the best. Trying to separate these links in this chain was really hard work, but I managed it. The use of the mole grips and lots of leverage with the pliers means I was successful. Next it was time to hang this bad boy up and I'm pretty happy with the result. Now you might think that wrapping the cable around would be the fun bit, but it was actually pretty tough. There was a lot of cable and I was trying to get these black sectional dividers up on top and trying to hide them away. But I got there in the end and yeah, it turned out pretty well. So now I've got to hang it up and get it plugged in. So I had a plan. I wrapped it round the chain a little bit towards the back and I want to hide most of the cable behind this picture frame on the left hand side. You might be familiar with these really clever sticky tabs that you can put pictures on the wall with and uh, hang up hooks as well. 
So I've fixed one to the back of my picture frame and then I'm going to stick the cable to the sticky tab so it's just connected to the picture frame. I put one on the top right corner, one on the bottom right corner and I just uh, added another one to the picture frame to the wall just to stop the whole thing from rocking from side to side. Let's get these final touches going, screw in the light bulbs and see how this bad boy turned out. If you liked today's video, please think about giving it a like and even subscribing. Catch you next time. Bye.